Hello everyone. Hope everyone's doing well with the um, introduction of the creator number five. Um, there are certain things that are worth explaining uh, so that everybody knows where to go now. The interface it's a little bit different but um, but it's worth the change. I mean there are very cool features that are available in C5 versus the other uh, version. So today I'm going to show you how to add a custom action to one of the views in your in your application. So the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, switch over to the old version so that we're all on the same page about what we're doing. So if I pick a report here, so let me do Let's see, uh, maybe categories here. Let's see, custom actions. You know, the custom actions are the buttons that we add to the records in a view. So if I if I access this report, you know, we get to see normally the view or the records, you know, regarding some information. And sometimes you want to add a custom action, either to update a record, run a function, push an API, whatever the case may be. So in the old builder, you used to go to the view, uh, edit the application, and then just go to the custom actions uh, submenu, create a custom action, you know, type in the name of your uh, button. In this case, I'm gonna put it uh, push, push API, or push to books. Um, I'm just uh, making this up and you have three options you could uh, display the button at the top as a header or for under each record or just inside uh, the uh, the edit menu you know once you click on the record and a preview of the template shows up you have um, a little tiny window that display the options for for the actions so just for for this example I'm gonna do it for each record and then you had uh, the criteria you could you know choose which records to display the button on or have them all you can add a nice waiting message like uh, one second please uh, and then you can just browse through the functions that you already have in your database and then just choose you know the one that fits the best in this case I'm choosing this function compress and click ID and that was it that's that's all you needed to do you know to create the button and then if you access the application the button for each record you know would be visible uh, here push to books and you know the user would be able to you know cr trigger the API from this button now this is nice and great except that if we go to the new version it's a little bit trickier to figure out how to do this. So I'm going to delete these so that it's gone. There's no custom actions. And now I'm going to try the new builder. So please, um, this is key. So the first thing that you need to do is find your view, which is categories. Now, the, the view gives you two options. You know, the first one is for the fields to add new fields or remove the fields or add you know aggregation information to them and the second one is for the filters criteria and the grouping all those good options but um, in C5 you now have um, two different views a quick view or a detail view this uh, pretty much the detail view gives you more information about your records than the quick view but in order to add a custom action uh, regardless of whether you're on the quick view or the detail view, all you need to do is click on the actions sub menu under, you know, either the quick view or the detail view. It doesn't matter. Now in here, you have the option for single record. This is the same. You know, the right click of a record. This is the option that it's inside the menu. Like once you click on a record and the sub uh, summary template shows up. You know, these are all the options, the buttons that you're going to have available for that. And the multiple record is 
it's the header option, the one that is going to come at the top and you're going to be able to select multiple um, records to push them through the, the custom action, okay? So in our case, I'm going to choose, you know, single record. I'm going to click add. And then here we're going to type, you know, what's the name of the action? And again, we're going to call it push, push to books. You know, the same as we did. Uh, you can have some condition for the workflow here or not. And then um, you need to have a name for the workflow. So I'm going to call it books. And then you need to create it. And then this is the window that allows you to map the fun the action to the workflow that we just created. In our case, the new action is going to be a function. You know, we don't um, we're trying to run a function through a custom action. So in this case, we can either create one for us or run an existing one that it's already in the database. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna choose one that it's already there. I'm gonna go to updates and choose compress the same one that I chose before and click ID and click save and there it is your my my custom action is now stored under the workflow books and I just added it as a new action item called push to books so and this action is gonna be here under single each single record push to books right here and that's all we need to do if we access the application again we are going to be able to see uh, oh look at this the button is not there surprise let's see if it's here PDF delete then interesting it's not here let me see if it's under yeah here it is okay so I I apologize the single record option it's the one that it's um, on the edit on the edit uh, menu option so I'll, I assume that if we do the same for, let's see, let's go to actions, right? So I put it up for a single record. So this is the edit menu. If I for right click off a record, if we add one here, and, I'm, and notice that the workflow, it's already stored for us to use it. I can select it again, store it there, access the application, and now, I guarantee that the button, no, well, the button is not here still. Let's see. So where did it go? So it's still here. Maybe if we edit the record, uh, let's see. It's not here either. Huh, this is interesting. Still not here. Well, we know it's here under the edit menu. Maybe I didn't save it. Hold on. Again, actions. We have this one here, single record. It's right here. Right click of a record. It's right here. Okay, so it's right click of a record. But I think we can no longer have a button um, displayed, you know, as, as an outside button for each record. But let's see, I'm going to add it for the multiple records too. So we have right click of a record. And then single record, it's right here. And the multiple records. Okay, got it. So let's do that. So the first one is the menu option right here. The other one is if I right click on the button, let's see. It doesn't show up here. Maybe that's a bug that we need to report. And what about if I select this, it shows up here too. So the multiple option does work. The one that doesn't seem to work is the one for, each record. So somehow, unless it's under here, nope. It's not here, more options, export, nope. So we have under the edit menu and then as a header button at the top. Um, so this is how you add a custom function, custom action for a Zoho 
creator view on the C5 uh, builder. So I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions. And um, <coughs> send me any questions you may have about C5 so that I can get an idea of what are the things that you would like to know about C5, okay? Talk to you soon. Take care.